What's up, nerds? All right, Xbox now. It's X it's X Xbox now. It's time for that one. So, uh, I woke up this morning, you know, for me, super early, to try and pre-order an Xbox One X. And if I, if, if I could, an Xbox One S. I did want both, but I would settle with just the Xbox One X. And what happened was an absolute nightmare. If you thought the PlayStation 5 pre-orders were an absolute broken, hideous mess of an event that transpired a few days ago, I'm trying to hack my fat ass way through a goddamn PlayStation 5! Why? You weren't ready for the Xbox pre-orders. I recorded it. This morning I woke up, I flipped the cameras on, I was very tired, I had a few hours sleep, and I recorded my reaction. You'll see, let's, let's, let's look, let's see. Let's see what happened to me. Bear in mind, I was sat there 10 minutes before 10 a.m. when these things were supposed to go live. I had every website open that was selling them, and I was ready with my finger on the trigger to buy and Xbox One X at the minute that they launched, and this is what happened. <sighs> I miss the days of actually going in and pre-ordering a console in person and being able to go pick it up on like midnight launch and take it home that day. I got three minutes left. I just hope I get one. My plan is to attack uh, Walmart on my computer and then Amazon on my phone at the same time. This is so gross. Like, what do I feel like even though I'm sat here? Out of stock. Out of stock. I'm on the minute. I'm- it's still in the minute! Best Buy says coming soon, Microsoft Store is broken, Target. Target better take PayPal. Oh my god. No, 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 not create my Target account. I don't care about creating a Target account. Oh my god. Nothing is loading. Sign into your Target account? What?! Oh my god. Verify?! Oh, f you! I'm not even getting the text. I'm not even getting the text. I'm not getting- I can't- I can't buy the Target. Oh my god, that is- mm. I can't get Target to load. Amazon isn't showing the listing. Best Buy still says coming soon. It's so- this is so dumb. I was here the minute. Even the S is sold out. Apparently Spawn Wave just got one at Walmart. It says out of stock. Stop eating my damn tree. What's the point in saying that it goes live at 10 if only Walmart's gonna have it at 10 and everywhere else is gonna screw it up? <sighs> I don't know what is happening. Did I get it? Did I get it? <laughs> what the f I'm just looking back at my cart now. No, nothing came out of my account. All right, fine. PayPal keeps going around in loops on this website, so I'm trying to put in my card. This is probably gonna loop It it says thank you for your order on Target now. I don't even know. I can't. I don't. Even, I was so in a desperate blind bid to try and buy something. I don't know if that was the X or the S, and I also don't trust that it's actually gone through at all. It does say Target has taken my money out of my bank account. What am I? What what are these consoles even called? Target took my money. So, I don't know how I managed to do that because now I'm back on target and I can't get either into my cart again. Okay, it looks like I, I'm logged in. So if I go to orders, says it says I've pre-ordered it. I mean, I, ca I can't do much else than that. <laughs> so it looks like I got one. I'm still so mad though, like in the minute, in the minute. It doesn't seem like they did that bad because they sold out in a second. Hi, quick edit to the video. Uh, the frustration and the confusion continues today because even I at the start of this video kept referring to it as the Xbox One X. And I know, I know that's not what it, it's just, it's so confusing. And apparently other people were actually confused too because during all this pre-order chaos, the Xbox One X sales jumped 431 percent 
because people were confused and they were trying to buy the new one and they were buying the last one. That is so... Oh my gosh, that is so confusing. Anyway, I wanted to add that in back with the video. I was getting so many tags on Twitter and people tweeting me like, Oh, PlayStation won the console war, did they? I think it's time to make Xbox won the console... No! <laughs> I don't think Xbox just going and buying Bethesda really changes the lead that PlayStation had ramping up to this system launching, which that's my whole point, and that was my whole point the whole time, and PlayStation's pre-orders have already come, gone, and sold out. So that little announcement from Xbox wasn't affecting anything that any point I was trying to make about PlayStation. However, it was very good timing for Xbox, and a round of applause. It's pretty cool to announce that the day before their pre-orders go live. Very smart, very clever. Uh, that said, um, we still have to wait and see what that means. Like, let's not get too overexcited here. It is a really, really big get. I mean, if you don't, if you can't fathom this in, in, in your brain, let me try and break it down. What Xbox just did, what Microsoft just did is like a, a big brain... A Disney move. Xbox didn't just buy a game. Like, didn't just buy a franchise for their console. They didn't just go out and buy Doom. They went out and bought the entire publisher and all that publisher's studios in one foul swoop. So, I mean, even just in the graphic they showed, that means they now own, Microsoft now owns the rights and the licenses to games like Dishonored, Wolfenstein, Elder Scrolls, so Skyrim, and the new one. Fallout, any future Fallouts? Technically, they own Fallout 76. Well, <laughs> I don't know if that probably could have counted that one out the deal. Maybe they did. <laughs> so for those playing along at home, including these new purchases in with all the other companies that Microsoft has had or they purchased recently, they now have companies like 343, World's Edge, The Coalition, Compost Games, Double Fine. They have their own studio. They have Obsidian Games, which by the way, Obsidian and Fallout are back under one roof, which is kind of exciting, but will probably amount to nothing. Uh, Rare, which, you know, they've been wasting that property for a while, but... So, uh, it, it still looks good. I mean, it still looks, it looks all good. I am, I, I am, I am a fan of Xbox. I said that a bunch of times. I like Microsoft. I like Xbox. Uh, but for me, this purchase was like, okay, cool, but c come on. Because they bought a bunch of studios two years ago, like all the ones I just showed, and uh, we're still waiting on all of it. All of it. We're still waiting on all of it. The only ones we've seen are Halo, which has been delayed, and Hellblade, which, yeah, pretty cool. But we're still waiting on 90% of these studios to show us something, which tells me them just buying Xbox, uh, them just buying Bethesda now is a really cool announcement, but it's still things that we're not going to see for a couple of years. I mean, I don't know when the next Fallout game was planned, but 76 is fairly new. We just had a Doom. I don't think Starfield or the new Elder Scrolls were anywhere close. And somewhere down the line, this could amount to some really cool exclusives, but it... It's a couple years down the line. Oh, what a nightmare. What a nightmare that was this morning. Hopefully, I get them on launch day, both of them, and I can make videos with them. And they don't get cancelled, because a lot of people are having theirs cancelled. What a nightmare. Alright, I love you all. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. Also, I have a second channel, and I uploaded there today. Kim cut my hair, so if you want to go see that, uh, yeah, go here. Uh, uh, links below, or click here. <laughs> here, or something.